Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Tonight I'm out in the fuel shed, and uh, as you can see, it's a bit dark. And uh, the rest of this video won't be, because I decided to come out here and reshoot this intro. Reason being is because January 9th, Monday, this coming Monday, is the last day of our WVO Designs discount code. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting set up like this to uh, process your oil, now's the time to get in on it. Like I said, January 9th is the last day for it. So it'll get you 10% off, discount code not so grand garage. Uh, I'll leave links in the description of this video as well as the discount code. Uh, but uh, yeah, I wasn't planning on releasing another video until Monday, but uh, with the uh, day this ends coming up pretty quick, I figured I would go on and release this one a little early. So anyways, let's get back at it. Today, I'm out in the fuel shed and we're gonna see if the booster cone in the WVO Design Centrifuge really makes a difference. I've had some questions on whether or not this little cone is worth the $100 price. So uh, let's find out. So, in traditional small batch fashion, we will run five gallons up in that bucket up there, heated to 200 degrees, ran through the centrifuge, minus the booster cone. Uh, we'll be pulling from that tote over there at the same height as we usually do. Um, I'm not going to do an initial pass because I've done that in several videos, so it's always about the same, so I'll just edit in. Uh, a clip from that. It's usually around an ounce and a half of material removed, but uh, yeah. Got a scale zeroed out. And our rotor. Back at three pounds, 13.85 ounces. So, I'll get this put back together. We'll do a heated pass and go from there. Got our Bucket filled back up again. We've got our heater preheating, set at 200 degrees. <sighs> it's already warming up. I like to let the heater warm up a little bit. As long as the heater housing is full of oil, I like to let it warm up uh, prior to starting the batch. That way, all the oil going into the rotor is hot but uh, yeah, we should pretty well be ready to run. Well, our heated run just finished up. And we're gonna let this drain for a little bit. We are at three pounds, 15.4 ounces. So we will go on and I've already got the bolts loose from the cone. We can pull the cone out and uh, we'll see if this makes a difference or not. I'm going to go on and wipe the bowl out and uh, get a pre-batch weight. We'll get all set up and get it running. Our bucket is now full and our rotor bowl is wiped out. So we're gonna go on and get an empty weight on this. Scale is zeroed. We are at three pounds, 5.4 ounces. Now again, most of that weight being removed is the booster cone itself. So three pounds, 5.4 ounces. We'll go on and get the bowl set up in the centrifuge, get it locked down, and get the batch ready to run. Our bowl is locked into place. Gap is set, so we're good to go. And we're not changing anything but the cone itself. So 
We want to get this all locked down. Now, I'm going to go on and preheat the heater like always. Uh, this batch will be ran through at 200 degrees, uh, approximately five gallons an hour. Oil is flowing. But uh, I've noticed a change right off the bat. With the cone removed, I'm now getting vapor coming out of this point here, which uh, I've never had that happen before. Uh, not since setting it up with the heat trap and all that. So it's just an interesting little note. Uh, I don't have any hose laying around to drop that outside. So I'm just gonna keep the doors open in here. Uh, let this run through. It'll take approximately an hour. And uh, we'll come back out here, get final weights, and uh, find out what's going on. The batch isn't quite finished yet. I wanted to show you something. This is still from this tote. Same height as the baseline run. But, uh, yeah, I think you can see that. You can see the moisture on my hands already. Quite a bit of moisture coming off of it. But, uh, my fuel shed is pretty hazy at the moment. Probably hard to tell. Ah, no, you can tell. But, uh, yeah. It's not done this before since it's been vented outside and everything. So, uh, changing the, or pulling the cone has definitely changed how the oil is moving in the bowl. So, that's interesting. Anyways, this uh, batch should be wrapped up here in just a little bit, and uh, we'll see the results. So we've got our scale zeroed out again. And our bowl is mostly drained down. I went on and loosened it up. Got it ready to lift out. And straight down on the scale. So three pounds, 6.7 ounces, which the original run was uh, three pounds, ah, 5.4 ounces. So you're looking at a difference of 1.3 ounces. Uh, and on a typical batch like this, we see 1.5 to 1.55, 1.6 ounces of material removed with the booster cone in place. So what, quarter ounce? more material removed with the booster cone in versus without it on our five gallon small batch rig. So uh, is it worth the money? Um, that'll be up to you. I'd say uh, depending on how clean or how dirty the oil is, that will make a difference in how much of a difference the uh, cone makes. But uh, yeah, I mean, for a hundred dollar upgrade, when you're purchasing the entire unit. Uh, if you've got the extra coin, yeah, I'd go on and get it. You might as well pull as much as you can out of each pass. Uh, so yeah, I'd get it. Um, I'm happy that I bought it initially. So is what it is. Uh, so there you go. Hopefully that answers that question. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. If you all have any comments, questions, complaints, Drop them in the comment section below. If you would, hit that like button because that helps us out. Um, also, I'll leave links to the, uh, the booster cone and everything in the uh, description of the video as well. Just in case you want to pick one of those up. But yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.